Hi, everybody. Welcome to Lunch Break today. I am Meredith, and I'm here with Carrie Rice, our Interim Children's Director. We're so glad that she's here. We're missing Pastor Jay, because usually yes, it's Lunch Break with Pastor Mr. Jay. So I'm not 100% sure where... Oh, oh, oh some, <laughs> somebody said it this way. Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. Hi. Hi. That's my turn. Is this Jay? No. Uh, oh, how nice. Yeah, how's that spit? Hi, that is nice that and everything. Great. Yeah. Okay, good. I, I think it's good to see you. I'm not, not I, so sure. I don't know. I, I'm kind of digging my little donut thing here. It's kind of like a. <laughs> <laughs> like a tray, you know, yeah. I, I could put food on that mm -hmm. and like, maybe I'll do this for movies and okay. I'll just like set the tray up there, yep. you know. Kind oh, of. you can get the inner tubes that have the cup holder <gasps> on them. So you can get one yeah, with a cup brilliant. holder. Yes. So then I could have drink and food. Uh-huh. This is kind of, it's kind of cozy actually. Mm -hmm. like, it, like it helps my posture too. Like it's kind of nice. Like it's, yeah. it's kind of a deal. This is great. Um, I imagine so. this is a little unexpected for people. <sighs> what? <laughs> What? I imagine. Oh, you want to know with the 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 mask and fins and I mean whatnot. I'm I'm sh pretty sure everybody would like to know what is going. Go on? I mean, did you just did you just come from the pool? You know, is no, it one so of those? I, to I'm gearing up. For <laughs> them in the face. <laughs> okay, so I'll take off my mask because okay. it's distracting. Here, hold on. Let me, let me do that. <laughs> There we go. That's a good place for it. Um, so, no, it's, I'm gearing up for BBS. Oh, See, because we've got okay. the scuba theme going, right? And uh, so I'm, yes. um, what, what's my name in the BBS? I have Sid. A, Sid. Sid. That's right. I'm Sid. Sid. So I'm Sid. I'm one of the, and you're on stage with me. I so the two him. of us and mm -hmm. Carrie, you're running the BBS. And so I had to gear up. And so I just, I thought I'd get ready and practice. I got my um, yeah. Creature from the Black Lagoon socks and my fins and it's yeah. a theme for me today, so I'm pretty excited. It is because yeah. we met, had a meeting day. We've been talking about I it. Say, we've been, I'm gearing up for it. I'm super pumped because scuba yeah. and everything. It's gonna be a blast. Well, yeah. it works out perfect that Carrie's here today. Then it's like we planned it, Meredith. I mean, That's amazing. It's like we scheduled it that so way. crazy. Imagine right. that. It's incredible. Uh, but now that you are here, tell us a little bit about BBS and what you know, everything that you have planned for us. And if you want to comment on my table or my, like, it's totally fine. I'm, I'm. It's really I'm great. I think you should wear those. More often. <laughs> <laughs> the socks or the flippers? The flippers. Oh, okay. Flippers. Yeah. Yeah. Just They're hard to walk in, though. Yeah, that's Surprisingly why difficult to but walk. But it's quite like... entertaining to exactly. watch. Exactly. Okay, fair. All right, exactly. sounds good. Um, no, as Jay said, um, it is a scuba theme for our VBS. We're very excited. It's about diving into friendship with God. So our dates are June 25th to 27th. It's going to be spectacular. Tons of fun. Um, we're going all out. It is $20 a person because all the BBS days do include lunch. Um, there's going to be a huge fun water party at the end. Um, so we're very excited about it. That's right. We're doing the, we're doing the American Gladiator water thing, right? That's a maybe. <laughs> Have I talked about the American? TBD. Yes, you have, I talked, have talked about it. it on I am here. so excited about that's that. That's to be determined. Mm -hmm. so yeah, it, and that is some extra special J fun at the water party at the end of BBS. I'm oh. hosing it. I'm, I'm, I'm going to hose some kids down. I'm so excited. It's going to be so good. He's talked about it on here before. I, I know. If you're I a faithful have, watcher. It, you know what he's know. talking about. If and it's not, so fantastic. You don't, you don't want to know. It's okay. It's, it's okay. No, it's going to be glorious and fantastic. <laughs> so I'm excited. Keep going. Sorry, anyway. I totally interrupted. Anyway. Well, anyways, we just opened up registration um, for kids as well as volunteers. And so those registrations are coming in. We still have room. Um, we definitely love for you guys to invite, register your own kids, your grandkids, but invite friends. Um, and if you happen to be available on June 25th through the 27th and you want to help kids uh, dive deeper into their knowledge of God, into drawing closer to God, um, this is a great way to do that, to be involved. You'll get connected in with other volunteers, other people from the church, and just have a lot of fun doing it while the kids have tons of fun. So it's going to be a great event. We're really excited about it. Um, we're busy in the planning stages and all the volunteers um, are so many of the volunteers we already have in key leadership spots like you two very excited about that but I can't get over like my table you're also very noisy I have noise like, yeah, it, like it's that awkward, a little squeaky it, yeah so, <laughs> my one of my children the other day was wearing shoes that would squeak when they walked and so we were walking like around town and it was just like squeak 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 and so that's what I'm thinking of right now so yeah sorry that was totally didn't fit in with anything you were saying it's just that's how my brain works. That's Keep going. Sorry. So VBS. It's going to be a blast. It's, it's really going to be a blast. Fun. It's going to be great. You won't want to miss it. So register. Yeah. It's on the app. So is on the app. How, yeah. yeah. 
to register for your kids or to volunteer. Both are yes. Yeah. Those are separate registrations. So, yeah. like for volunteer stuff, what what does that mean? Like, what what could people volunteer for? What are some of the things that they could do? Um, is there any pr particular spots you're needing the most or anything like that? What, is, what do you need? Yep. Um, we still have spots available if you want to help with registration um, and just kind of the administering of the program. Um, with that, those people kind of help with running, giving water or um, receiving guests, different things like that. Uh, but we also have crew leader positions available. And this is a key position uh, in for the whole VBS. But as a crew leader, you'll be in charge of five kids and you don't have to prep anything. You just have to come ready to help them have fun, engage with um, what we're learning and help make sure that the kids are learning it, they're getting it, um, and that they're just having a great experience overall. So I think that's one of the most rewarding positions um, and right now it's one of our most needed. So crew leaders are great. You'd come and you'd just be with kids and you'd... Um, but you only get like five, right? So yes, you're it's not only five. So it's not a large group. You're just investing in five. You're responsible for that. five, and that's it. Yeah, small group. So great for discussion, um, and great to get to know them, build relationships. It's going to be great. It's going to be awesome. And the teenagers can help too, right? Yep, teenagers can certainly help. So we will be asking a lot of our teenagers to step up to the challenge to be crew leaders as well, not to assist another leader, but to be leaders themselves, to be responsible for those kids. Um, and again, be responsible to take them all around, help them do crafts, help them learn their sticky scriptures, their um, all the recreation games. I think it's called Reef Rec games. So Reef Recreation reef, should be fun. Reef, it's all reef. stupid things. Reef. So, reef. 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 Yes. Rec. Rec. yes. Okay, yes. that like that didn't quite sound that way in my in my in my ears. I'm you know, so yes. I'm glad you clarified that. Thank yeah. you. Reef, so. Rec. Yes, Reef, it's yeah. be wonderful. Yeah. So. It's gonna be super cool. I know so it is. Yeah. Yeah. I know we're gonna do a lot of decor stuff as we mm -hmm. usually do for VBS. A lot of it's all undersea theme like scuba stuff and fish and. Yep, we've got lots of. Exciting sea things anemones. planned. Sea anemones. anemones. Did you do that on purpose? No. You did. No. So, okay, so here's the deal. So, like, we just got this 10,000-pound food delivery, yes, right? We so it was yes, we so did. It massive. So, I don't know if you incredible. saw it on Facebook. You put a reel out and everything was fantastic. I did, and um, it'll be Facebook Friday. I mean, uh, Food Bank Friday food tomorrow. Food Bank Friday tomorrow. Um, so, oh, it's news. incredible. 10,000 pounds. So, we, we, the staff, we, we jumped in and helped a little bit, and they had these huge boxes just filled with all kinds of fantastically mm -hmm. amazing, cool stuff, mm -hmm. just random odds and ends. So anyway, so I have this idea. We take this big box, you put a fan in it, and then you can put streamers that, that stream up and paint it. It looks like a sea anemone. And someone's not fully on board with this idea yet. <laughs> uh, so I'm just, I'm kind of like, you know, just kind of putting that you're, plug you're out. You're volunteering to put it together. I'm oh, I'm in. I'm all for it. But you just got to let me do it. And so, like, I, I just, it's going to be so cool. I like, a little awkward excited. sitting in the middle of it. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know. Okay. You're going to do some little so marriage counseling for us, Mary. I know. So, oh, no. You know. Oh, no. No, no. I, that's not what I signed up for. Not, or the view of that's not that's what I signed up for. That's in the other duties as a sign no. part of the job description. It's always at the bottom of every every job description the ever. Fine print. It's exactly. Mm -hmm. 100%. So. How about, though, we recap this past Sunday, especially since Carrie's here for that, too, because yes. baby dedication. It yes, was so was, good. It was, it was beautiful. Was uh, it was such a blessing to be a part of it, too. Mm -hmm. Five families dedicating their children and themselves, really, too. That was right. a big part of the dedication is dedicating, dedicating themselves to raising those kids yes. in the Lord um, and to furthering themselves and deepening their relationship with the Lord on a daily basis as well, knowing that that's like their biggest part of raising kids. And so that was really yeah. exciting for me to see and to have the congregation, you know, repeat mm. back and commit to those families to help in the raising of these kids and to support them as best they can. That was, I just thought it was beautiful. It so. was. It was the really certificates good. were so nice. And what was in the gift also that we gave them? Oh, yeah. Okay. So yeah, in the gifts, some of you might have seen that we gave out gifts. Two of the books that were in there were parenting books. So one was called Parenting by Paul Tripp. Uh, and Great then the book. other one is a favorite of mine. Uh, it's called Five Love Languages for Children. So that, those Great were book. two that equipped the parents. Mm -hmm. But then there's also a Lift the Flat Bible, which is so much fun. All four of our kids have enjoyed it. And the kids, even before they really are old enough to sit through being read the Bible, they like lifting the flaps. So you get to read to them while they explore the Bible. Um, it's just great all the way around. Yeah. So. Those are some great resources too. That, yeah. that parenting book by Paul Tripp. Um, fantastic five love languages which I mean that's kind of a ubiquitous thing this five love languages they have it for started with marriages for for husbands yeah. and wives 
not kids. They have it for workplaces now. They have it for just all kinds of things. Fantastic book. Really good stuff. Really good. Yeah, I love it. And then after church, we did have um, an interest meeting for the Rocio yes. Christie mission trip, the right. Utah mission trip. Yep. But if you weren't able to go to the interest meeting, it's not too late to sign up for the trip. Yeah, that's going to be an amazing weeks, trip. So. I know it, Utah in July sounds like, oh, no, that's going to be warm. It, it, it will be, but it, it's worth it. It's going to be a blast. Mm-hmm. It's going to be so much fun. Such a good trip. Um, I, how many... How many did we have? Did you say? Did we say how many we had at the interest oh, meeting? There were seventeen or eighteen. Seventeen or eighteen. Okay. The interest meeting. We and, ha- yeah. and there were quite a few people that I knew were interested that couldn't make yes. the meeting. Yep. So yes. we we may have a good crew from here, which mm-hmm. I'm excited about. It's going to be such a good trip. Yeah. So yeah, get get registered, get signed up. Yeah, it's and be you awesome. can go on the app to do that as well. And Scott Saunders is Scott Pam are helping delete it and. Well, I know one of the things that Scott had said about this trip is it's not just about the evangelism component of it, but right. also that you will grow in your own faith yeah, for through sure. preparing for this trip. Yeah. Well, so, that's one of the things, you know, there's, there is some preparation that goes into right. it. Some, some work you got to do on the front end before you go. Just, uh, you know, if you're going to go share your faith with people who are very passionate about their faith, mm-hmm. you need to know your faith. Like, and so it's, it's just a great discipleship opportunity for the individual trip participants, right. not to mention the people they're going to go connect with. And so I'm, I'm excited for it. It's going to be super good. And so let's move on to this Sunday then. Yeah. One service. One service. One service. 10 a.m. Just one. 10 a.m. That's um, right. Ryan Cox is going to be back with us. So not everybody knows Ryan Cox. I know. Um, he's grew up here at Northwest, which is he kind did. of cool. So he's like kind of this full circle thing. He, he was, I think he was in high school when I came, or maybe he had just Probably gotten into so. college when mm-hmm. I came. So he grew up here. His mom and dad uh, were members here for years. And then he went off to college, uh, started leading worship uh, at a couple different churches. He works at a church in Marietta now. And so I was having coffee with him, and he's like, hey, if you need any help, I was like, actually, could you come lead worship on Memorial Day weekend? He's like, yeah, I could do that. So he's going to lead for us, which is just it's super cool. Mm-hmm. It's kind of like a, you know, I don't not a blast from the past, I guess. Like, I mean, cause he's, it's, it's just a neat homecoming. Yeah. Yeah. That's mm-hmm. a better way to put it. It's a homecoming. Mm-hmm. So I'm really excited to have Ryan on, on stage leading us this weekend. And it's just going to be good. It's going to be good. So and what are you going to be, what are you going to be talking about this then? One verse. Just okay. One. So, but it's one a big verse one. for one, one service, one service, one verse, one Sunday. It's going to, but it's a big one. It ends. It's the last verse of Matthew five, Matthew chapter five, verse 48. Uh, it says, be perfect, therefore, as your heavenly Father is perfect. And, it, right? Mm-hmm. I know. So, but, but here's <laughs> the deal. Like, so when, and I'm going to talk, I don't want to steal my thunder, but. Um, steal your own thunder. Steal my own thunder, right? Can, I, can you do that? Like, I mean, and, sure. and I don't even really have any thunder to steal, but if I did, like, I'd be stealing my own. Anyway, <laughs> um, so when we hear the word perfect, what do we think of? No errors whatsoever. No errors whatsoever. You can't define the word with the word. You can't <laughs> right. say per- perfection. Like, okay, nope. but yeah. perfection, right? No defects, nothing yeah. wrong, mm-hmm. like exactly Completely right. flawless, yes. uh, without error. That's not what that word means in scripture, though. Mm-hmm. Um, so especially that word, it's a specific Greek word. It's the Greek word teleos. Um, and that's all I'm going to say. So okay. I'm, you got to come and you got to listen. You got you to gotta come check it out or check us out online. Um, watch the live stream if you're on the road, whatever. Mm-hmm. Well, don't watch if you're on the road, but you know what I mean. Like, watch the live stream. Um, but anyway, it, it, I, I'm excited. It, I, it, it's going to be good. I hope. And if you have a teenager, ask them because Stacy has talked with the teenagers. Yes. He's taught about this. Yes. We've talked about it. And so, um, well, because I think it's one of those things that really yeah. stresses out followers of Jesus is, you know, I have to be perfect. Oh, man. I know I don't measure up. And then we beat ourselves up over and over again because, ah, uh, I'm a follower of Jesus and I messed up again and I'm supposed to be perfect as my heavenly father. Oh no, what is that? Oh no, am I going to go to hell now? Like, I mean, and, and we really, we struggle. And then sometimes we, we go to the other end of the spectrum. Well, I've messed up this much. I might as well keep going. Oh, well. You know, yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, well. And that's a real challenge for a whole lot of us. And so hopefully we'll get to speak into some of that. And talk about, okay, what does Jesus really mean when he says, be perfect as your heavenly father is perfect? So. Right. That's great. And then I would like to do a little 
spoiler alert. That's okay. Because oh, okay. one of the things we've talked about on here is, okay, what is the month of June? What are, what are you, you know, we're taking a little break yes. from the Sermon on the Mount. Yes. And so we've got some other stuff going on. What did you decide, so, Jay? Okay. A lot of thought, a lot of prayer, a mm-hmm. lot of consternation, struggle. I went up and down and back and forth, in and out, all sort of stuff. And I settled on series we're, gonna, we're calling Living in a Fractured Culture. Living in a fractured okay. world. I can't decide if it's world or culture. I don't mm-hmm. know. Um, but it's it's this idea that we do we no longer live in what they call a coherent culture. We don't live in a culture where there's consistency or, or um, coherence, I guess, for agreement on truth and right from wrong and gender roles and some of these other things. We no longer live in that kind of culture, which was extraordinarily similar to the culture that Jeremiah the prophet lived in and preached in and spoke into. So we're going to do kind of a, a 30,000 foot overview of the book of Jeremiah and some of his his preaching uh, because his culture was extraordinarily similar. And I think we forget that sometimes that the, it wasn't that, that different back in those days than it is today. And so there's a lot of analogies, a lot of parallels, a lot of things we can learn about our identity, about um, how, how we should handle ourselves. Is there hope for our culture? That kind of stuff. And I'm excited about it. It's going to be good. Good. I'm glad. I'm excited. Too. Yeah, it's going to be cool. Good. It's kind of a, you know, touching on a lot, a lot of modern right. stuff that we're up against, like on the day to day in, in workplace of, you know, hey, people used to think this, but now nobody seems to think this. What in the world do I do with that as a follower of Jesus? And so it's going to be cool. Great. I'm probably going to, I don't know, maybe make some people mad, but I'm pretty good at that. So, like, you know, that's how I roll. So It's not a good Sunday unless you step on the toes, right? <laughs> right. right. With, my, with my flippers. With your See, flippers. That's, you know, I could step, I could, man, I could really you get could, some toes with these things. You could things. get a few at a time. Yeah, though, so. I like that. All right. Well, <laughs> this was fun. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Thank you. Yeah, for... That was such an awkward statement. Well, right <laughs> oh, this was fun. Like going to the dentist. It's fantastic. <laughs> I love well, it. I have to be able to pick on you a little bit too. <laughs> okay, fair. You That's are true. usually picking on me. That's so. fair. Carrie, you didn't jump in at all with the picking I on know. Meredith thing. <laughs> You're dropping the ball as a guest. Like all of our guests have been really good at picking on Meredith. Uh-huh. No. no. Yeah. That, I know they have, but don't, why are you expecting her to do Sorry, that? Sorry, I can't do that. I Thank do you. That. Thank you. I'm outnumbered. You're it's welcome not fair. here anytime. We gotta get, <laughs> Thanks, man. we got to get Ezra on here one of these days so that he can pick on you too. So just to make him feel like a, like he's at home. Uh huh. Okay. Well, yeah, that's good. Okay. I like it. I'll allow it. That's okay. Well, thank you genuinely for being here today. And <laughs> you are you welcome anytime. Me. We're really excited about BBS. It's yeah. going to be fantastic. Be so, yep. Yeah. Wonderful. And thank you for joining us as well. And we'll see you next week.